Before we work on the styling, let me add one note on how we navigated to the root folder in shop.js and admin.js. For one, you could just use dot dot here instead of dot dot slash. And this would be preferable even though both should work on Windows and Mac because now we make no assumption about the separator we're using when constructing a path. So with this, if I go back and I now go to just admin add product here, it still works, but now we get a cleaner way of doing this. But there is an even nicer way we could implement this. We could also get the parent directory with the help of a little helper function. For this, I'll create a new folder here, helpers or util. I'll go with util, you can name it however you want. And there I'll add my path.js file. And it doesn't matter that this clashes with the global module because we'll import it differently anyways. Now there I'll add an export with module exports. And I wanna export a little function that helps me construct a path to the parent directory or not really a function, instead a uh, variable, I should say. First of all, here I'll import the path with require path as we did it before. And then I will use a different uh, function here, not join, but dir name. Dir name, as you can see in the quick help on the right here, returns the directory name of a path. So this uh, sounds pretty useful if we use that we just have to find out which directory or for which file we want to get the directory name. Well, there we can use the global process variable that is also a variable that is available in all files. You don't need to import it. And there you will have a main module property. This will refer to the main, well, module that started your application. So basically to the module we created here in app.js. And now we can call file name to find out in which file this module was spun up. So put in other words, this gives us the path to the file that is responsible for the fact that our application is running. And this file name is what we put into dir name to get a path to that directory. With this, we can import from this file here. I'll add my own import separated from the other ones simply to make it easier to identify. And I'll name this root Dir. The name is totally up to you, but it re will require this from going up one level into util and then path. And this root directory is in the end what I want to inject here. So root directory is what I'll start with when creating this path. And now let's try reloading this page here. And it still works. And it should still work because now we're in the end having a pretty neat way of constructing a path to our root directory. I'll do the same in shop.js, import root dir from the util folder at the path file in there and replace dir name dot dot with root dir. Again, you could have totally sticked to the old approach, but this one is an even cleaner one and one that should be pretty straightforward to use and that should work on all operating systems and that always gives you, well, the path to the root file. With that, let's move on to the styling.